I think I think a lot of these issues that are where you talk about the globe and issues like poverty, they can seem quite conceptual. So I think the key quite uh, sometimes is to break down the barriers between different groups to make sure that people understand the reality. So I'll give you an example. So I, uh, I have another job beyond the day job where I'm a commissioner on a, an organisation called the Edinburgh Poverty Commission. We had two young girls giving evidence to us about their working environment. And it wasn't just the amount they were being paid, it was the culture created in that workplace where um, they didn't have any kind of power to change the way they were treated to the extent where they didn't, um, if they complained about the way they were treated, they just stopped getting given hours of work. So it wasn't, uh, it wasn't an area where they had control. That inspired, that kind of listened experience from workers is what's inspired the development of the living wage and the new living hours program because you're listening to people's actual issues and going, well, okay, I think we can do something about that. And then bringing different stakeholders together to say, how do you, how do you find a solution that actually meets the needs of those people on the ground who are living the consequences of some of our behaviors right now?